Hey, this is Mia with Design. In this video, I'll show you how to turn your product into a professional product image with custom AI backgrounds that blend perfectly with your product. Getting a product image right with AI is not easy. Other tools sometimes get the perspective wrong, create unnatural lighting and shadows, or fail to place the product correctly on the surface. But with Design, it all comes together seamlessly. Click the link down below to get started. This process only takes less than five minutes and everything happened in one place. Follow along with me to give it a try. First, open a new project and choose the canvas size that works best for your image. Click on the product background tool. Let's upload our product image here. When you upload an image in the product background panel, the AI will automatically remove the background for you. You can see that the product is isolated with precision within seconds. From the source preview window, you'll notice that the remove background has been highlighted in blue. And this blue area is where the product background will be generated. By doing this, you keep the product design, shapes, and even the text. And it allows the new background to match with the product. There's three ways to generate the background. Template, prompt, and image. There are many preset templates with popular themes you can apply directly to your product images. Let's try a pure color natural background. I'll choose the purple template. Once you click the template, the AI will generate four different background variations in the result panel. Hover over each one to preview the results. We can see that the purple background is now applied seamlessly with different lighting and horizon levels. Next, to further refine it, we can use the blend feature below. When you hover over the numbers, the variation correspond to the number is highlighted. Let's select number four and click to open the blend panel. So blend helps to ensure that the product looks like it naturally belongs in the scene while leaving the background untouched. Here you can adjust the blend percentage using the slider at the top. This changes how much the background color interacts with the product, making it look more integrated. We can see that the higher the percentage, the more the product reflects the surrounding purple tones. Once we're happy with the result, we can click done to apply the changes or place the image directly on the canvas or download it. Let's click place on canvas. If you want to change the background template or regenerate a new one, clicking the template again will trigger a warning that says the background isn't empty. This is because the AI requires a clear area to generate a new background. Only the product should remain on the canvas. To fix this, you can either click remove background to isolate the product again, or go to the layer panel and hide the background layer we just placed on the canvas. This will reveal your original product layer with no background. Now that we've isolated the product, we can apply different templates. Here are a few results I've tried, and I have to say I'm really impressed with how effortless the process is. For more flexibility, we can use the prompt option to input a custom text prompt. First, we'll assign a surface for our product. There are some suggestions below, or you can type your own. Let's go with on the beach for this one. Next, we'll specify the background. Let's try the ocean with palm trees for a nice tropical vibe. And here are the results. I love how the shadows adopt to the surface, and you can see how the cartoon looks like it's actually pressing into the sand. And the image is really integrated. With the prompt option, the possibilities are endless. But what really excites me is the image option where you can use a reference image to create a custom background. This is super useful when you need some creative inspiration and want high quality results quickly. I found this image that I think would look great with our product. But instead of just using this to generate the background, let's take it a step further by adding more elements to make the visual more dynamic. This works great for showcasing a series of products or presenting a brand. Let's start by importing this orange bottle. We can duplicate the bottle with Ctrl C and Ctrl V to fill out the scene. Besides the carton and bottles, let's add a glass of orange juice. To do that, click on the text to image tool. For the style, I'll select realistic and then type in the prompt, a glass of orange juice with an orange and leaves on a white background. Make sure to toggle high quality mode for the best results, then hit generate. These are some really good looking results. Let's double click to send this one to the canvas and then we click remove background to isolate the glass. We can also click edit cutout to remove and restore unwanted parts. So we can further fine tune the selection. Now we can arrange the elements to create the composition we want. Next, let's go back to the product background tool. 
For the image option, upload a reference image that you like the background to resemble. Below, we'll describe the scene we want. In this case, I'll describe it as on a wooden table with a crate of fresh doughy oranges, a glass of freshly squeezed orange juice, lush green foliage in the background, orange trees with ripe fruits hanging under the warm sunlight. A tip is if you're unsure of how to describe your image, you can go to image to image tool, upload the image to place on the canvas, click auto prompt, and the AI will describe what it sees on the canvas for you. Back to the product background tool. Then we hit generate and see what happened. It turns out even better than I expected. The only thing that needs a little tweaking is the glass. It's not as transparent as it should be. Let's fix that using the AI eraser tool. Zoom in and select the area we want to improve and hit remove. Let's hope this would make the glass more transparent and reflect the background better. The updated results will show up in the result panel. Now the glass looks like it blends perfectly with the background. Let's double click to place it on the canvas. And we can export the final image. So it looks like a high-end product shoot that would normally take weeks of planning and a big budget. But we just created this scene in under 5 minutes. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Try it out yourself with a link below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to see more tutorials like this. Happy designing! Thank you.